Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here. So let me tell you a quick little story. I usually don't talk about like the exact gear that I use to make the videos like on this channel, but I am a gearhead and many of you are too, so might as well. So in 2014, last year, the camera that I was using was the Canon C100 and I'd been using that for about a year, year and a half, and I've been shooting all Canon stuff in the previous years, all Canon cameras, Canon T2i, 60D, uh, 5D, and then C100, just all Canon. It wasn't even a brand loyalty or anything. There was obviously other DSLRs, Sony stuff, Nikon stuff, but I felt like Canon stuff did the job for video best. Out of sheer curiosity, I rented, because that's what people usually do with reds, they're very expensive, I rented a red Scarlet Mysterium X for four days. Just rented one for four days to try it out. I, uh, I shot some video with it. It seemed pretty nice when I was shooting video. It's obviously a lot bigger than a DSLR, but I shot some video and then I imported the footage and I saw how crispy it was, I saw the dynamic range, and then I saw the white balance slider in the editor I was using at the time, which was Adobe Premiere. And things have never been the same. Now that's a pretty big jump to make from the Canon C100 and all these Canon cameras to a red scarlet and this red lineup, which is a totally different workflow, totally different process, a different style of shooting. I could go into like an hour long rant about it. I don't wanna make this video too long, but the idea is that was the entry, the entry level for the red ecosystem now. This video is about the new red ecosystem entry level camera. It's called the Red Raven. So I got to spend some time with the Raven, which comes out soon, it's not out yet people start getting their pre-orders in early 2016. And while this is totally still a high-end camera, it is relatively budget, in air quotes, in a lineup that can go for like up to $50,000, $60,000. So Raven will be competitive at around 10,000 bucks. So at that price, you're looking at other cameras like Sony's FS7, F5, uh, Canon C300 Mark II, C500. Now, what makes this Raven worth considering for people trying to decide? Well. It's the smallest and lightest RED camera ever. It's about three and a half pounds, and it's a full metal jacket. It just screams build quality everywhere. There's absolutely no plastic to be seen. And one of their goals, I'm sure, was to get this like as light as possible without any of that plastic. So not only for solo operator like handheld stuff, but also for drone stuff and study cam stuff where it pays off to be light. And it's built on the body style of all the newer RED cameras. So it reads the same SSD RED mags, uh, it works with the same accessories, so it keeps with Red's theme of modular everything. That's one of the things I talked about in Dope Tech number one, where I talked about the Red weapon. You can get the brain of the camera by itself, but that doesn't really do you much. You add the extra modules you need to get up and running to your ideal setup. So for me, that would be, you know, a single cameraman, sort of lightweight run and gun type of quick shooter. So the Raven's body itself by itself is just a box. It's around $6,000 but then it has the SSD reader and the Canon mount built in. And then RED has modules for everything else. So this side handle up top you see here with the RED record button built in, that's launching with the camera and that record button works via a few pins on the top of the camera, it talks with the handle. The display on top, it's RED's new four inch display, which looked pretty clean to me, pretty bright enough to be visible outdoors. It tilts all the way flat, but it doesn't twist. That you can plug in. Uh, and the module on the back here is called a jetpack. It's kind of like a backpack for the camera that gets you, you know, full size HDMI, USB, and power to connect to a battery, or you could even just plug it straight into a wall. So there's all kinds of ways you can configure Raven as you imagine. But really, the best part of a RED camera, and like the main reason why it got me so hooked, is the image quality. RED sensors and RED's color science is just on another level as far as my experience goes. And I've shot with a lot of other the other cameras I mentioned earlier. This guy is rocking a 4.5K Dragon sensor. So yes, slightly more than 4K and at up to 120 frames per second. And it's literally a smaller cut of the same sensor in my Weapon Dragon now. So that awesome Dragon sensor and it's a 16 and a half stops of dynamic range and all the awesome detail, red code color, lots of the familiar image quality you're used to from, again, any of Red's other high-end cameras. You could cut between them all and have no problems. Now, I have to say this at least once during the video, it's not just the gear that makes the video at all. You guys already know that's just a part of the equation. So going out and buying this really nice camera isn't going to suddenly take your videos to the next level, although they may suddenly look a lot nicer. I'm just saying this is the tool to help you make something. At the end of the day, this Red Raven isn't what you're uploading to YouTube. It's the idea that you come up with that a camera like this can help you capture. And also like Raven to me is just sort of like a teaser for the rest of Red's more capable lineup, including this. 
This is the newly announced red Scarlet W. Yeah, no big deal. This is just the only video on the internet of this one of one in the world camera. It'll come out right before the Raven in 2016, and it'll have even more of the modular features you're used to from red's higher end stuff, like the interchangeable mounts. You can get a Nikon mount or a Leica mount on there, but also at a relatively lower price than the rest of their lineup. So just throwing that in there. So there you go, guys. That's my hands-on and impressions of the Red Raven. Too cool not to share. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one with some more crispy video. Thanks for watching. Peace.